Hey folks, for OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and quick review of the Jitec Bike Bluetooth Speaker. Now it's called a Bike Bluetooth Speaker because it comes with a cradle that allows you to mount it onto a bike uh, so you can play back some music when you're exercising, uh, but it also can be detached and used as just a regular Bluetooth speaker. It sells online through Amazon for around 30 bucks, which is not too expensive for a portable stereo speaker. It's crafted out of a soft touch plastic, uh, which is pretty good. And the fact that the two speaker sides are distance apart and the audio comes apart. It should also provide a pretty good immersive three-dimensional sound when you are playing back movies as well as interacting with music. Um, the price point isn't too high. It's pretty affordable. It's relatively durable. And one of the reasons why I decided to pick this up is because the design reminded me of the Sony Roly, which was this robotic, crazy Bluetooth speaker that also danced around. It was released a few years ago back by Sony and it was quite expensive, but uh, the whole shape of this, like a little football, um, reminds me of that, especially the fact that you can change the color of this as well. You can customize it for blue, white, and black, uh, and there's this silver ring just like on the Sony Roly. But anyways, obviously it doesn't do that much, but it still is a pretty cute and attractive look. In terms of specifications, it's using Bluetooth 3.0 and EDR, so not Bluetooth 4.1, uh, the newest, uh, but it still works decently with any tablet, iOS, or Android smartphone. Charges using micro USB takes about two hours to complete. Uh, the Bluetooth, the speakers themselves have a frequency range of 10, 100 hertz to 20 kilohertz, um, and the bicycle has uh, loudspeaker has a 4 ohm 3.0 watt uh, driver on each side. It features a micro USB adapter as well, so you can pop in a card, directly play back your music if you don't want to connect it to a phone or a computer. So here we have some controls on the top, as you can see. The box is pretty simple. In this presentation, we have on the inside just the speaker itself. We'll take a look at that. There's also a 3.5mm auxiliary cable if you don't want to use Bluetooth, but you still want to connect it to, let's say, a MP3 player. There's also a quick user guide, and here is the aforementioned mount. The speaker goes on to here, and this just attaches onto the sides of your bike, and you're ready to go. It clamps on pretty tightly. When detached, uh, the speaker itself also is flush, so it can stand without rolling over like a you know, football. And there's also a built-in microphone as well, so you can use it for answering calls or speaker phones and conferences for those purposes. Overall, it is pretty attractive. It's also rather lightweight and small. So from a design perspective, I do like how it looks. There's also the aforementioned controls on the top, which are tactile responsive and coated in rubber. They feature access to a power on off switch, as well as uh, skip controls, which also double as the volume controls, play pause controls, and call slash reject controls. They're all risen above the surface, so they are pretty easy to press. The back features access to the aforementioned micro uh, SD card reader, uh, a micro USB port, 3.5mm auxiliary port, and a power on off switch and the two sides are just the speakers. So again, a pretty good so look. So quickly, I want to point out that the microphone area also has an LED light, which will flash to tell you the different mode that it's in. In the pairing mode, it will flash between red and blue. It's pretty easy to set up. Tap on the key and hold for a few seconds to initiate and change between those modes. When it is continuously blue, it means that it's been connected successfully and it has a range of about 20 meters or so before it gets a little bit more staticky and finicky when you're connected to a Bluetooth audio source. When it's in this green mode, it's meaning it's in a standby and there is a radio functionality on here, something I didn't really expect. It's actually pretty cool. So it is a decent FM radio. You can play back some sound, some music. It has a pretty good antenna as well if you're outdoors and you can blast some uh, random tunes or a, a channel that you would like, maybe some classical music, a pop music, uh, and do that to your liking. So I have a brief click here. I'm gonna just show you using the auxiliary cable mode, which offers the best audio quality because it's not wireless, um, it's just using the traditional Now source. is Oxymodal. As you can hear, the one thing that I don't like about this is the voice prompt. Uh, not only is it extremely loud, it could be distracting depending on where you are, uh, the actual pronunciation is also a little bit funny, so something I wish I could turn off, but unfortunately that's not an option. So probably the weakest link on this otherwise pretty attractive portable mini Bluetooth speaker. Let's turn down the volume and play back this. As you can hear, there is a bit of static in the background, so that's something that you will note um, will be present here. Turning up the volume some more. And we actually reviewed the T2S just a few months ago on our website, and it's been one of the more popular videos that we've covered. 
compared to the previous generation model. The As you can hear, it, the sound itself is actually quite full, and because it's coming out from two directions, you do get a very good effect. So if you're watching back a movie or a thriller, an action film, it does work very well. Doing a quick sample of a song, perhaps, let's do no copyright music. There is a slight amount of static or hissing in the background, even with the auxiliary cable and certainly with a Bluetooth on. It's not the crispest sounding thing in the world. The actual microphone on here also isn't noise cancelling, so in noisier environments it's not going to be the best. So here's a quick audio clip. So as you can hear, it's quite crisp as well. You can definitely hear the various parts uh, being played out. Great for pop music, great for electronic music. The bass could be more, could be louder, could be more impressive, but it certainly is present already. And for this very small size, uh, again, this is not large at all, it does the job quite nicely. At the end of the day, I would say that the uh, bike Bluetooth speaker, which sells on Amazon for around 30 bucks is a pretty good value because it offers a good amount of versatility. So there's that FM radio, there's that bike mount, all included at this price point. Construction is good, audio quality is good, not the best, but still very good. And so I think it's a good value for the money, especially with the design that I find to be pretty interesting and attractive. To find, find out more information about this particular Bluetooth speaker, be sure to check out our official written review. This has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.